Hi. Yeah, the quick review of the irrigation system based on Raspberry Pi. Let's see the hardware. We have eight relays which can be connected to pumps or valves. We have a sensor for air temperature and humidity. We have an hardware clock which is useful in case of power outage to keep time and date. We have some connectors for the soil moisture probes. We have also a power converter for 12 volts to 5 volts. And we have a board customized that will connect all the pieces and the Raspberry Pi. The system is supplied by 12 volts. As I said, the system is controlled by the Raspberry Pi, which can be a Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 0W, because the system requires Wi-Fi connection. Let's plug the, the Raspberry. Here we are. Let's connect the power supply. As you can see, the system has no physical interface. This means that to set up the watering and the other parameters, we require to use a PC or smartphone, which will be connected to the system by the Wi-Fi network. Now I show how the connection is done. Once it's powered on, the system will create its own Wi-Fi network that is called Addosys 4. As you can see in the smartphone, the IDOS is for network is not yet uh, detected. It will take a few seconds. Here we can see the network. Let's connect to it. The system has a minor bug because sometimes it shows that the password is incorrect. But if we wait some more seconds, we will see that the connection is established. Okay, now it's connected. Let's go to the web browser and type the IP address. We are connected, let's log in. As I said before, the system is now directly connected to the smartphone by its own Wi-Fi network. The system can also be connected to a home Wi-Fi network. Let's go to network. Here the list of the available Wi-Fi networks. Let's connect to the first one. Password. The system is now asking for confirmation because uh, the connection from the smartphone to the system will be removed and the system will try to connect to the home Wi-Fi network that we have selected. During this process, the connection between smartphone and system will be lost and will be reconnected once both systems will be connected under the home Wi-Fi network. The smartphone should detect uh, that the Wi-Fi network is not existing anymore, as you can see. The smartphone is connected to the home Wi-Fi network we have selected. Let's see also if the system is connected. Let's test it by going to setting.
so now every time you are under the home Wi-Fi network you connect to the system just using a web browser and typing in the default IP address. Thank you for watching.